Dogs, you know, when they itch, you both suffer. And if left untreated, infections can result. Medical reporter Meg Ferris explains what's behind all the scratching and the new treatments that can help. Like many New Orleans people, Bull suffers from allergies. Oh boy. Nothing is, is more frustrating or miserable than to see your dog or your cat just sit there and scratch and scratch. Bull's owner is a veterinarian at the Louisiana SPCA, and she sees skin hot spots on lots of local dogs because New Orleans is a hot spot year round. Veterinarians from around the country recognize that too. Because of the humidity, we see a lot of allergens. We know the flea problem in New Orleans is, is huge. Dog allergies can be food insects and their saliva when they bite, or the environment, like grasses, mold, and tobacco. They can also have a combination. But they don't get a runny nose or eyes, like their two-legged companions. Dogs present their allergies through their skin and through their ears. You know, the terriers seem to be very effective, uh, affected by allergies, and it's not just fleas. Uh, usually if you see dogs really rubbing at the bellies, the bottom, the lower back, and the groin area, you have to think pollens. First, flea control is paramount. Then the good news is that there are new products on the market to soothe the irritation. There are special shampoos and foods without certain carbs and loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. That's the good fat in salmon. That's, That's it, what's buddy. really helping yeah. bull. There's also a new injection started just once a month, and there's also a new medication that works within hours. My clients love it. I have two of my own dogs on it. It's called Apoquil, and it's actually the first medication of its type that is specifically geared to solving the actual itch problem. I'm glad Bull feels better, and we have a link on our website where you can get helpful tips and take the Itch Instinct Quiz. It's free, and when you take it, that animal health company will help make a donation uh, to its Canine Courage program. It helps service dogs for veterans suffering with PTSD and police dogs with their health.